Hey. Good morning, Rem. Good morning. Thank you for stealing my thunder, Druckets. Yeah. <laughs> Just as You're I what? was about to say hello to everyone. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Let's see. Wrinkly will. Let's load in. So, yeah. How are you fighting? Well, I am game? sorry. Nah. You shouldn't be, and you're not. <laughs> I mean, that's harsh to assume that I'm not, but okay, fine, Rim. Jeez. <laughs> I've, I've gotten to know you slightly. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, I, I kind of want to restart now that I've learned these new things. Well, as uh, I've restarted a couple of times. Um... I had to restart this playthrough because the first village was too far away from iron. Yeah, right on the river. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I noticed that too. It's quite a a run. I mean, my village was good. I was sitting at like seventeen hundred gold non-stop, but started having berry problems and. Mm -hmm. Oh. Great! We have unlocked the church. <laughs> so, <clears throat> we have the rustic church. God would freeze it if you were to help build a monument to splendor. Let's build a church. That's exactly what we're going to do. So, this church. Uh, the rustic church is a nice little church. This is something completely different. Now, where do we want that? Now, do you get more splendor if you build multiple churches? Uh, yes and no. Uh, it depends on if those churches... So, every church has a... I'll post the game now, because... Every church has a splendor rating. No, no, no. Every church part. Let's see. Let's go through a rustic church. Here. Uh... Good morning, Stealth. Uh, the core has one Splendor. Yep. Yeah, it's on the, the Splendor rating. It, you can see it on the bottom of the little box here. Wood extension, half a Splendor. Other wood extension, half a Splendor. Oh, that new church there is going to give us tons of Splendor. Okay, doors, nothing. Main, uh, but maintenance, towers, some Splendor and maintenance. Stone extension. So just make a giant cathedral, basically. <laughs> well, with the rustic church, you can't. We have just unlocked the the big church. And um, since yesterday was date night, and we played foundation, this is kind of going in the same tracks. Uh, oh, sad time stealth. Don't do that. Uh, because we ended up building a nice cathedral there uh, yesterday, and now I'm going to build another. What's that house? Hmm. I think hair down here is a nice place for some clergymen. Let's see. Go to the church and then we need the core. So, what sort of monstrosity do we want? Ooh. I'm playing with bridges trying to see if I can get them to work. Iron, no, stone bridges should work as long as you don't have any um, decor decorative items close to them. Yeah, because still like bugging out or whatever. Yeah, it was it was for me. So, is it? Yeah. Oh, sad time stuff. I hope you managed to fix that. Okay, anyway, uh, let's go with extension A. Yeah, I found a, uh, like on that river area, if you start on the little island right next to the place where you started, mm -hmm. you can get locked on there very fast. I, uh, I have been saying that this game is not forgiving. Yeah. Because there's not enough trees to build a wooden bridge to get either to the next island or to the mainland. Oh, well, you can always, of course, build a, um... Can't build a forester. Because no, you, you need 12 serves to unlock it. And you can, no, they can't 
get to your village. No. Because it's on an island. They can't get to... Uh, yeah. So you get locked. That's <laughs> shitty. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Okay. That needs, uh, that needs some fixing. Yep. Yes. So, uh, as I said, this game, it looks very nice. It's also pretty brutal. Okay. <laughs> it is. This church will not, in fact, be looking like... A, uh, like the last church I built, it looks like a giant penis. It will look like a double dildo. Great <laughs> improvement. Made a penis church? It's very easy. Would it be ca uh, a Catholic church? Uh, uh, Stealth, it's not symmetrical at all. I don't want to go for symmetrical with this. I want to go more, um, no, 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 oh, no, no. It's a much better looking church than a rustic. Yeah. There. This will just be, I don't know, it doesn't look like a church at all. It looks more like some kind of armory or something but uh, <laughs> you know, I'm a small tower I'm happy with that there and then another small tower The coastal map is just brutal. Yes. It is not flat at all. And uh, same with the hilly map. Mountain, go. I'm not even. So I guess fluvial is the only good one. <laughs> Again, it's a very, very hard game. Um, yeah. Thing. Yeah, it is. Okay, there, and now we need some doors. Uh, and maybe I want to raise this up a little and have another door. Because now there's nobody around here, like it was yesterday, to tell me that, oh, you shouldn't do that, it will look ugly. There we go, Stealth, you are correct. Okay, uh, gargoyles. We need gargoyles, don't we? I hear you're not. Say Why aren't you saying yes? No! Crap! Stealth, give him time. He will make it a penis. Rust at all. <laughs> and a snapping hair just to talk penis. It's kind of hard. Can I get you to snap, you stupid piece of. Okay. Careful not. Uh, if you think my mouse cursor looks out of sync with everything, it is because it is. Okay. <laughs> That's not very good. Nope. Ah, screw that. Right, start construction. No gargles. There. 300 stone, 121 tools, and 34 flags. So, yeah. Okay. It will give Wait. us 96.5 splendor with the church. Yes, Rocket? Is that still your your river map? Mm -hmm. mm. This is the map I have been streaming, uh, the, or the second one. This is not uh, Race from Prune, this is Wrinkleville. Yeah, I was just trying to see where you started. Is that ticket? Like the the one good starting spot on that map. Uh, there aren't many actually. <laughs> there really isn't. Okay, what's that house. 
Wait, how do you turn the map from side to side? Uh, middle mouse button, hold, and then go around. Ah. Okay. Hold on. Here, I've been fine. playing it this entire time normally. Hmm? I've been play playing it without spinning. Yeah. Brutal. I think it says so in the tutorial, but I'm not sure. So I haven't seen a tutorial anywhere. Isn't there one? Oh. Well, we have the role to citizenship. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, there is a health button in the bottom. It doesn't pop up automatically. Ah. I am fine, Oman. I am very fine. I'm drinking coffee, vaping like a pro because I'm that cool. Oh, um, we have to see the bakers because they are both punishing bread for existing. <laughs> Kung Fu bread. <laughs> look at that. And look at the how she looks. Oh, and then she went. Oh, thank you, goodness bless, and and left. <laughs> oh, hey. Niceness. Uh, I could see Rim. One of his, uh, one of your past lives would have been a Kung Fu bread maker. Everybody was kung fu baking. Just no, Rem. Just no. <laughs> <coughs> you give me too much opportunities to sing. I did. Mm. And that was my blunder. Yes. Let's just say that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm not very happy with this house because it's smacked up. Inside the church area. There. Uh, so I might have to tear down that house. I'm sorry, Blorg. Live somewhere else, peasants. That's actually another thing that makes me happy among. Uh, I can lord it over these poor, poor uh, people. I am God. Hi there, Forrester. I see. That's, e? that's an interesting thing you're going there. Hmm. Hmm. Tell me a little food stall here. Well, if you want to make aquatic trees, that's fine with me. One stone place. We kind of sort of the sort of only have one stone place. That's well. I guess it's time to have another. Even though I was thinking this should be the monastery grounds here. Or no. We'll go for a in-city monastery. Try to place it down here. Well, it's not that technical a game among, so we should be very fine. We need stone cutters. I mean, or actually, this is a rather brutal and unforgiving game, but it looks nice. So there's that there. Construction there. Very brutal. And then open up. Let's prioritize that and open up for some new. Immigrants, uh, let's go with four. So two. There we go. You know, I'm surprised. I've never played a builder that was this brutal where you could just get locked out and <laughs> you're, you're screwed. Yeah, it's it's still an alpha and it shows at times. Uh, no, it does. Uh, yeah, but if you screw up, uh, the game will completely murder you. An envoy from Imguan is requesting. Uh, Hi there, envoy. So, how is the king these days? Yeah, I love the like. Uh, the king from this town requires soldiers to image one. <laughs> it's like. Uh... Yeah, uh, but we don't have five soldiers. 
so. I had, uh, I had an immigrant about an hour ago. It was female number 425. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> At, uh, af uh, after a while, the gaming convention breaks. So, uh, oh. yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's just so many uh, errors there. But, uh, uh, or bugs. It's, yeah, I can live with it. Right, I find it. I like it when the people with the gnome names come into my town. Yeah, that's pretty funny. I'm like, you're expendable, go be a soldier. <laughs> yeah, you don't have a name? Don't care. We'll go for sawmill. Sawmill? Where did I make a sawmill? Sawmill? Where is this? What? Sawmill? Oh, okay. Well, I guess I need more immigrants then. Okay. Then we need six new people. Also, I just saw the size of the number of, Im of people here. It's nobody. Solo. I am super happy with that. Anyway. Hi, Farusi! This is going to end well for us. Your follow, uh, for your followers and stuff. No, 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 they're doing fine actually. And I'm building them a giant cathedral here. Or it's not really a cathedral, it, it looks more like the administrative part of uh, building for the cathedral. But yeah, that's. So. Oh, we also have very few builders. Don't we have like two builders? Okay, I'm gonna mark it up and run it. Did I mute my mic? No, I haven't muted my mic. It should be going strong. Strong cut the Excellent. Moment. No, that won't work. Make me out, but it's very low. Oh. Let's see. Better uh, I'll sound settings. Filthy immigrants. Good. Come to me. Um, okay. I'll try to be better here. Um, so those are going to be first off carpenters and then people. Stone cutters. Yes. Mm. Need more coffee. Also, it seems like this game doesn't want me to have my face cam. Well, I guess you'll just have to live without my fa my face. I mean, we can't do that, Rim. You can't live without my face. I can't yeah, live without my face. Else. But, but you can. You surely can. What? Rim living without his face. That's grotesque. No. Rem streaming foundation without a face cam. That's something completely different than me not having a face. I'm sorry, there's subtle nuances there that is kind of important. All 
Alright, let's see here. Okay, more immigrants on their way. Sheeple, uh, we don't have money. Let's see. Villagers are lacking food. Villagers are lacking housing. Yeah, yeah. Twelve villagers are lacking clothes. Mm, oh, we might need to expand. <sighs> we might need to... Hmm. Crap. So... Hmm. I should get another fishing area here. Or even... Oh, there is much better. Let's see here. And also more berry people. Yeah, so we can have the fisher people close to the new church. So they can drag all the church through the uh, no all the fish to the church. I am surprisingly fine with this. So let's keep that for the future. And now, yes, if they have a fish and bread stall, do they have to have like? If you run out of berries, do they get mad? Or uh, I don't think they care much about. So the. Little guys in this town, they don't care about what kind of food they get, I think. It's okay. just, all food is good to me, uh, so, and they care more about being fed than not being fed. They kind of care a little about that. Alright. Yeah, because I was out of berries earlier, and I was like, oh no, you know, they're gonna get mad, so I was like, trying to, I was buying up areas just to get the berries. <coughs> Sorry. Nah, it shouldn't be that bad, uh, as long as you have, but get, uh, so, 60 military are lacking food, oh, okay, um, hmm, I need to think about how to do this, yeah, Omong, uh, I remember very well when, that year when I didn't have a face cam, Oh, and another cup of coffee. Life is perfect. So, I have been invaded, guys. My girlfriend is there. She is watching over me. She said that I was, she heard the sound of me making a monastery. Which is a lie. It's not a monastery. It's a penis church. Get it right. No, it's not a penis church. It's a double <laughs> build uh, church administration <laughs> building. Get it right, you as well. <laughs> Let's not mix penises with uh, peni with double dildos. Oops. Okay, so if the house is upgrading, yay! Where are you upgrading house? Somewhere. Aha! Perfect. So the crystal doesn't happen whenever we get to see you. Oh, well, Omong, uh, you can see my reaction now. It's mostly I am flabbergasted and screaming, so... Yeah. Speaking of, I uh, saw one of those classic screamer... Uh, streamers playing in the Space Engineers yesterday. That was interesting. Because I can be kind of animated, but... Goddamn, that... Dude was just. We found nickel! Yeah! Wow! Awesome! I'm drilling my nickel now! Wow! And. Yeah, I. Yeah. When your rover decided to fly, which time, Omang? <laughs> the number of times we have summon clang. It's. Too high to count? But again. I, I remember that one time I saw a rover jump off a high mountain and miss the target and splat. Sounds very good. I have... wait. <laughs> His parachute didn't deploy? Uh, wait. <laughs> Thank you for mocking me. <laughs> wait, okay. What happened with the parachute there? Did it just not deploy? No, it deployed, but it was way too uh, low. So. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Rip. <laughs> The, yeah. On the stream, like I didn't even see it pop out, and then it was just boom, uh, no. Rover's but it's gone. on the like, well, shit. it's uh, uh, on the episode where that uh, Kumpel, uh, that 
uh, was posted yeah. by Cosmic and that Kumpel place. There. Extraction there. Two new villagers. Goody. We are going to need an influx of villagers now. Sad to say. So, two new fisher people. Let's go. Let's go with three new fishers. So we can drown them in fish. What do you want? Okay, uh, what do we need here though? We have every... Oh! Deliver five bread. Um, do we have enough for this? We do, 15. More than enough. Okay, do we have enough for these crazy people? We do, but I'll help the people and then we can just do that. Flawless victory! There, okay. So, new people. Yes, thank you. Left, right, right, click it away. Yes. Have they done a single thing on the church? No. And while I am happy with that, because I don't like churches on general principle, it would be really, really nice if they could do their work. But oh! You know what? Let's get a couple of those two new people. They should be builders, because we only have two builders, and that's a little new. new. The immigration control. Oh! Why do I have builder? Builder. Um, only two and two stone cutters. Excellent. So now we need. Let's see. Prioritize this uh, and this. And then I maybe should chop down the forest hair and get a little fishing village maybe so that means another lumber camp there and chop it out chop it out Somebody's doing something. That's also okay. Thank you, Kunigunde. Okay, that's the name. And here is uh, William, which is an actual name, not a made-up name. Now, like Kunigunde. Again, among that piston on that base. That's. Way too many times stuff like that has happened, so yeah. I have blown up my base a couple of times. So look at that! The swamp forest. The coniferous swamp forest, yeah. Very. Two new villagers. Yes. You are going to be the swamp people, also known as fishermen. Good old swamp trees. Yeah, I mean, conifer swamp trees, uh, that's... So this is apparently the northern mangroves. Yes. Mm -hmm. Shut off immigrants for a little while. Immigration control is a uh, thing that makes this game much easier. Definitely not. So we played with, without that... The first time she played, and just all the immigrants came, and it wasn't good at all. Yeah, can't feed them. So, um, yeah. Can you 
be done with that fisher. That would be great. No, you have to do other things. Like sleep, is that it? Oh, you slacking bastard. Oh, well. One villager lacks space for housing. I'm, I'm getting there. Oh, okay. Right. There. Now you're not. Look at all that housing you have. Fisher's hut. Boink. Yes. One fisher. And we need the other one. Come on. Kunigunde. Oh, look at that. First house. And second fisher there. Now the next priority is going to be the lumber camp and lumber camp. Oh. Gathering hut. Can't believe I failed that as bad. Okay. That's now a priority. Yes. Uh, and we need a market right by the church so people can do what the Bible tells them to and uh, trade and sell goods in the house of the Lord. Um, yeah. So maybe over here have the market stalls there. Yes, in the middle, so that if ever there's a sermon in the church, then the fishmonger can uh, interrupt that sermon. So let us all praise. Cheap fish heads for sale, plague free, guaranteed. Yep, I am very for this. Okay. Uh, do we have any unemployed people? We do not. Excellent. Why? Why did you leave us in our time of villagers joining? Come on, come on, you can do it. There you go. That's it's at Kunigunda. You are a hero among men. I am working, I am building. Yes, you are. And you're even moderately happy. Yay. No, have to wait a little until we get more peoples and then we will have and then you are a priority. So we'll have lots and lots more people here. There they come. Um, children, look away. This is a trans bald woman. <laughs> oh well. And come on, come on to me. There we go. Yoink. having I mean can you get the house builders why aren't you building anything oh you're building those things right no you're not what are you even doing builders stupid builders I'll just set up for the market. Uh, so we need two stalls for 
those. Uh, and make it like that. Uh, some tentage because that looks nice. No, the green one is fucking. Not so much decoration, don't need it. I say that. Well, there will be some decorations here. There, and then food stall sign here. And food stall sign here. And a bench. A couple of benches. I have never ever seen anybody use a bench, but that's in the other way. There we go. Two new villagers, get it. Um, but that's going to be it for now. Go away. Stop, stop. Enough now. Building the wall. So, builders. Hi. How are you doing? What are you doing? Maybe I should even go check on you. Okay. Hi, Gunther. Where are you? Hello, villager. Oh, you're building on the Church of Fakeness. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, right. That's the rustic church with a capacity for 120 and 9 gold in maintenance. <laughs> I see how it is. Okay, fair enough, you are forgiven, uh, builders. <laughs> Fisher shot! Yay! That means that we have another. Fisher, a line, a line, and another forager. Excellent. Okay. So this is the big let's suck up to the church stream because, well, 120, and then we have the original church, which is 70, maintenance 22. So maybe we'll tear down the church here hmm. once we're done with uh, the fake church. building the tombstones, but it's looking... It's a toy church. Tiny toy church. Yeah. Almost done. Okay, this is going. Very well. But, um, yeah, don't... <coughs> neglect people's need for housing, guys. Eight villagers are lacking, lacking housing. Yeah. And all because of the damn church. Okay, you are doing the main building now. We have the stone, we need the planks. is done we have the tools yes hmm I would love to upgrade that road that road is such a nice road you know what I'll pause this entirely for now, until the other church is done and housing and markets and stuff is up. Yeah. And I need two people to work in the market, but I'll do that. After. Uh, 
afterwards. Yeah. That's some interesting swinging technique you got there, buddy. I mean, it's working, but they're a very articulated bunch. tools and some oh Kunigunda is bringing the last planks no errors and let's see people are lacking everything anyway from the king no Oh, for the love of... Go away! We don't want you to... Nobody gets sweet. Nobody. Pieces of tools. No. Paul bringing some. Okay, you're doing that section. Oh, you're building. Oh no, two people are doing. Ah, I see how it is. Just six more tools. Come on, you can do it. Ah, good old William. Yeah, good old William. Mm -hmm. Is that William? It certainly is. Kitty and our Church of Lamented Hay should be done now. Drinking coffee. Lazy builders, you're building for Jesus here. Work harder. There we go, thank you. Ah. Bell Tower one. Market. Uh which not that market, obviously. Okay, uh did I improve a market? Wait, did I? Oh. I need to open for more immigration, actually. Okay, now all the small jobs around town is being done. because it's kind of important that we chop down the forest there. More important than the peasants living in the houses, to be honest. Okay, there, come on. Thank you. Atta girl. So that means we need one lumberjack and let's see, two... Goody. So we need four more people. Yeah. And 
and then we will start construction of the church as it were. Yeah. Come on immigrants, I am waiting for you. Oh I see a thing I forget to do. Meh. It's it's going to be. Because I can't edit this, can I? No, I can only bulldoze it, and that would be a very bad thing. Okay. Hi, builders! There, give this fisherman or whatever his a house. That's much appreciated. Look at they, them being happy. Ah, okay. You get a house, you get a house, you get a house. Everybody gets a house. Still living in the slum, but that's okay, I guess. So, tax collector. Do I need to hire some soldiers to work for the tax collector? Because the other tax collector. I don't know. Two villagers, yay! They are so one woodcutter and one person to work this market. Which is going to be a, such a lonely person. That's the house. Market is being built. Awesome. I should, of course, have been a little more careful with the market and just made it a super simple market, but that's. That's not really me, is it now? No, no. I have to complicate things at least a little. Wouldn't be fun otherwise. Oh, there we go. One lumberjack. No, woodcutter. And you work there, Julian. This is not going to be a good market, but it's a market nonetheless. I love this church though. Maybe it needs. There. I, I think it's kind of. It, yeah, it, it needed a door here for the sake of. somewhat implied realism. Yeah, a house is upgrading. Oh, look at you! Niceness. That means that our count here is 20 citizens. Oh, 38 commoners and 32 serfs. Okay. So if I can only get. Yeah, monastery, that's our goal. I don't know if we'll manage, but we'll find out. There. Okay. You're bringing her. People are settling into this little side village. You're bringing some stuff to the market, I guess. That's all of it. Yep. Excellent. So next batch of immigrants, go here. <laughs> Slot one, uh, fish, slot two, berries. There. 
And two new people. Nope. And there. And suddenly from one to three markets. It's okay. And some nice houses. Ah! Oh. Julian, don't you live? around here somewhere no okay. anyway I need you to build up that house and the one that's going to be before it no yeah there's going to be one more house Why don't you use that road more often? Will complete rustic church. Ah, good. Yes, looks way better with the door. Mm. Okay. There we go. Thank you. And market tenders there. Carl and female 1547. Here they come. They have no names anymore. Right then. So if you could be done with building this house and the next one. They don't like living down by the riverbed. Don't know why. And we have another little howl. Oh no, it's upgrading already. Nice. So just come on, Kunigunde. You are a hero of the people. No, why can't there be a villager job for the village idiot? Every village needs the idiot. That should so be an unlockable. Uh, you need a. It should. It should be an unlockable when you have the well, which reminds me, I want to build a well here. Don't, because Why need... the well? Because then the village idiot could run around with a bucket on their head and fall into the well every five minutes. I could thank you for that. Or, and then walk around with a bucket on their foot. So yeah, village idiot would be... I am in favor of village idiots. Everyone have housing? Not as such. Okay. Everybody has a house. No, no, no. But you know what? Let's open this for construction. Yep. So we have should our planking come is our plank game is strong, our stone game. Mm-hmm. Um, hi there! You didn't finish the well, did you? No. Whoever were lazy enough to build it. So you just couldn't be bothered building an actual... No. Okay. How many... Masons that we have here, we have the one mason. Because the fountains require polished stone, and I, it would be nice with a couple of them. Then again, maybe the church doesn't deserve fountains. No. They really, really don't. Are those villagers that are looking like in housing now? Mm. How are you doing? Actually, quite fine. 
This is going to take some time though, of course, because it's a... Uh, it's one of the most expensive projects in the whole game. So there's that. Then after we get this bad boy, we can get the monastery, and I think that's going to be up here. This is a perfect place for monastery. Ish. Very close to all the sheep, but eh. Oh, okay, Omar. Um, talk what? Uh, uh, okay, cool. So, what's for dinner tonight? was a very good question, because I have no idea. Hmm. Oh, I'll find out. As we say in Norway, that time, that sorrow. I don't know how to translate that. Hmm. Hi there. Uh, I won't help. I mean, I would like to help my own people. No. I'm not going to give you any fish. You have to buy it at the market yourself. We do handouts and everybody wants some. Oh! Yummy! If you are a little good with seasoning, uh, spaghetti and meatballs can be really, really nice. Um, of course, you need a nice uh, tomato sauce to go with it. Uh, yeah. Mm. And, and of course the pasta needs to be al dente, if not I'm going not able to eat it almost. That's me, I'm strange, so and I'm not invited for dinner by all Mong, so yeah. Okay. The the skeleton of the church is coming along nicely. Yes. Still need so many things here. Huh? This is going to take forever. Even though I think this church is way smaller than the one. And the slow cooking of the meatballs will absorb the sauce. Oh, hello. Is that a thing? You put the sauce with the meatballs in the slow cooker and... Hmm. Oh yeah, it definitely will. My mom's boyfriend makes uh, meatballs. It's got chili sauce and stuff. And he puts them in a slow cooker for like 20 hours or something. And oh, they're so good. Meatballs, chili sauce, slow cooker. 20 hours, okay. Oh, he, he puts like... It's chili sauce, grape jam, and a couple other, or grape jelly, and a couple other things. In. That's and it's grape uh, jelly, huh? Grape jam. Yeah, it it sounds weird. It really does, but it's so good. Yeah, that's actually that sounds really nice. Yeah, he makes them. He only makes them for cur for. for you, what? you fell out there. He only makes them for uh, Christmas. Oh, so it's his special Christmas balls. And I eat about ninety percent of them. <laughs> you eat your mo mother's boyfriend's Christmas balls. That's just yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh. I mean, the acid reflux and the chili sauce kills me later, but it's worth it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can relate to that. Uh, yep. Now I'm getting hungry. Yeah, me too. Thanks a lot, Omong. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> Yesterday it was me, and now it's Omong. Yep. Yeah. Go uh, for I, some more fried. Nah, I have some leftovers from yesterday, so... Uh, Indian. 
That was meant for me, I could go for some fried chicken. Yeah. Actually, I have some spare fried chicken at work as well, so... Oh dear. <coughs> so I am swimming in food tonight. Why are you not cutting that little tree down? It's What's like they're they're cutting away this huge forest <laughs> and they just left one tree. Like yeah, you bastard. That sounds Oh look at that though. We still have lots of materials. I'm beginning to like how this church is starting out, and I really, really hope okay. There's something I have to check out. Let's see. Let's find our Oh, all the same. Okay. Edit that. Can I edit? No, I can't edit. Oh, damn it! Oh, you can't edit things you have already plopped down and placed and built. Oh, man. Ugh. So, I enjoyed... Yesterday I enjoyed the fact that the church we built looked very much like a church. Today, today I'm enjoying the fact that the church I'm building looks nothing like a church. It's important to be... I think this church is going to be Our Lady of the Holy Colo. You know, at a low, low pixel setting, it looks like you just have a giant slug. As I said, the Our Lady of the Holy <laughs> Colo. So wait, have you, have you figured out how to get a priest in the church yet? No. Oh, why? I was curious. Yep. Because <laughs> I don't know either. Yeah, me as well. I have no idea how to get a priest. <laughs> I mean, I know a couple of real-life priests, but I can't port them into this game. It would be handy. Wait, is that just a stone church you're building or an actual monastery? No, this is a stone church, this is a, oh, this okay. is a church, not the rustic church, and then the monster will come. Yeah. Gotcha. Which reminds me, I need to unlock the lost trade route there, and yeah. The loss is going to be a thing as well. You're doing fairly well. People are super happy. Lacking food, lacking clothing, super happy. Excellent. So should I... Should I try to get more clothing? Yeah, I should do that. Okay, open up for immigration, uh, and then get a let's see, sheep sheep form. Uh, where should that be? A pair? Sure. There. Okay. Prioritize that. So more important than building a cathedral, building a sheep park, and then open up for immigration. Okay, so we need another tailor. as well. Again, much more important than the cathedral. Or the church, it's not... I don't know what it is. Bastion? Yeah, maybe a bastion. Yeah, it looks like some kind of Lord Militant's <coughs> main office. Oh, proprietary meatballs. Oh, oh man, don't make me hungry. You know what I've been craving is the night juicy, soaked in butter crab leg. Mm. I'm not super I fan love of crab, crab legs. But, yeah. Oh, I love it. 
<laughs> I don't like fish. Yeah. But I can eat. And I don't really like lobster, but shrimp and crab, oh my god. Hmm. That's fair. Eat 10 pounds of crab legs, I can eat in one go. <laughs> yeah. I think we all have those kind of things that we can just completely stuff our face with. Guilty pleasure of life. Yeah. Guilty pleasure. I refuse guilty to. Pleasure. I refuse to uh, to be guilty of my pleasures. I'm way too much of a hedonist. How? Why is our economy down the shitter? Let's see. No, it should be okay. Territory, blah blah blah. General spending, eleven hundred. Oh my lord! Trade expenses, one ninety. <laughs> okay, Florence, bring the tools. And then we need more immigrants. Come on. An envoy from the king. We still don't have soldiers. No. Also, I saw a reference to soldiers preventing robberies. I have no idea what's implied in that, but um, yeah, that's a good thing. You know, Omon. I've kind of wanted to try king crab, but I've heard from a few people that it just has a weird taste compared to snow crab. Snow crab uh, is just delicious. Hmm. But never, ever, ever try imitation crab meat. Ever. My dad got that once, and it was the most disgusting thing I think I've ever eaten. <laughs> It, it's like rubber that they tried to make taste like crab, and it tastes nothing like crab. Mm, marinated rubber. Uh, it was, uh, <laughs> it was just disgusting. I don't know why he bought it. I'm like, never buy imitation anything ever again. Oh, if you can mask the taste, it's okay. If you are, um, for instance, imitation meat for taco or uh, for... Um, Lasagna? No problem. I think I just want a big old juicy cheeseburger. As long as the... Uh, as long as the... Uh, it tastes okay, that's not the problem. Come on, don't abuse. Abusing. So, uh, no, uh, but the most important thing with imitation meats and other imitation products, it has to taste like what it's supposed to be. Either that yep. or, yeah, so that's why, uh, why many vegan shepherd there, um, uh, products are just, no. You can make the patties, yeah. Better get some more villagers in here. Yeah, how many do you have? Uh, 18. Oh, okay. I have 84. <laughs> yeah. But I uh, have been playing other, this for some time now, so... My other save was up to like 70, I think. Yeah. Oh, look at the church, yeah. But I had everything, you know. I'm still figuring out a lot of the things, so I, yes. I wanted a clean start. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear you. Okay, so we have a shepherd. That's good. No, I'm not liking how this one's going. How the... Just the layout. Ah, okay. Yeah, I end up with a hodgepodge. But, yeah, I'm kind of happy. Yeah. Okay, I need to, two more people for... Yes, but not more than two more people. That's one... Taylor and one weaver. Yes. How are you doing? You're actually doing quite fine. Our stone reserves are down in the toilet, but kind of knew that was a thing. So. Meh. Come on, immigrants! I want you. Oh, you're coming right around the uh, corner. Excellent.
Yeah, I'm kind of not doing so well on money right now. I think my upkeep is killing. Yeah, you should be very careful about that. Uh, upkeep can very quickly kill you. There, two new villagers now closing the border. So well, I go from zero to like a hundred and back and forth, so... Yeah. Let's see. Consumption, 1800. Trading coming in 95. So up here plus 1256. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, it's my church up to keep. Yes, that's why uh, getting the church the churches can be super expensive. But uh, doing the whole building with extension things that I did with my second church, the one that looks like just a jumble of houses more than a church and then a super tiny church. That's maintenance cost nine, while the other is twenty-two, and the cathedral is going to be. Costing me 90, no 20 maintenance and give me 96 uh, glamour. Splendor. That's a lot of splendor. Yep. Do you even need that much splendor? No. But it is for the glory of God. Yeah. Ooh, fish cakes. Now those can be really, ni really nice, Oman. Yeah, Oman here. Uh, Started to be a chef, so he kind of knows a little bit about food. Then again, he's British, so he kind of sort of don't know about food. <laughs> British chefs, no. That's all I have to say. Okay, do we have the extra people here? We certainly do. There we go. But yeah, having market places where people can get their stuff and buy their shirts and everything oh I should have a short salesman here hmm. so maybe I can upgrade these houses a little because I would like not to live in the slum I'm one for 25 percent well I'm half and half Norwegian Hungarian but uh, you still live uh, in uh, the UK, Oman. So I don't care if you're 100% whatever. Still British in my book. And that means you are actually gastronomically challenged. Nah, you're all European to me. <laughs> Even you know there are differences in the, in the, in the, in the cuisines. Oh, there is. Yes, you know there's a difference between uh, sauerkraut and pizza uh, and baguette, right? Yes, yes. I mean, yeah, I watch cooking shows like every day. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I get to see a lot of that stuff. Oh, uh, come on, give uh, which shows? Now I'm interesting because I might have spent uh, quite a lot of time with Food Network. Uh, let's see, you got Chopped. I uh, used to watch the original Iron Chefs, from, you know, that were over in Japan. Oh, uh, Iron Chef Furu! Yeah. Yeah, the, the American ones just aren't as good as the original. Well, it's... I like the Americans, but the Japanese is just... It's... Everything is cranked to 11, and it's just... And this guy, I mean, he's the bearer of the tradition. He's the Setsuan, son of the Setsuan yeah. Sage. Yeah. And that's oh, just, it, it's like... One of the chefs made salmon ice cream. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Like, like, how do you turn a meat into an ice cream? What the hell? Well, you can do that. Uh, ice cream started out as a uh, savory dish. So, yeah. But meat? That's just weird. Yeah, and I saw somebody in uh, Iron Chef Gauntlet make uh, blue cheese ice cream. But, you know, I watched that. You know, Chopped is a big one. They got like Chopped and Chopped Junior. So mm -hmm. there's kids that are like 12 years old that can cook me under the table. You know, it's I like, hate shit. those kids because they're so ridiculously talented. <laughs> yep. And you know, my mom watches like kids baking championship and like the Halloween wars and all that. Mm. Um, the things they do in that. Uh, so it's not that much cooking in Halloween wars, but god damn. Yeah, it's, Still some of the stuff. Uh, yeah. And then I watch like Beat Bobby play, you know, whenever yep. I'm bored. Um, 
Control kitchen. I used to. It's not on anymore. Yeah, because I've watched every single episode of Cutthroat Kitchen, mm, lots of it, twice. Yeah, so, some of the things he pulls out, it's just like, oh my god. Well, he's openly kinky. Um, <laughs> there's nothing, it's the best cooking show in the world. There's another, uh, Cook vs. Khan is another one. Oh yeah, 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 Chef vs. Khan. Is it? Um, cook vs. Khan. I think it's Cook. But, um... There was one more. I can't remember. Um, Worst Cook of America. Oh, I love that. That actually started me and the girlfriend out on Food Network. That was. It's freaking oh, hilarious. The things they can't do. Oh. <laughs> I mean, the one guy made a soup and put it in the can. <laughs> oh yeah, the guy. Uh, the one. Uh, that guy. That, uh, that, wasn't that the guy that tried the. Um, the coconut, he wanted coconut yeah. flavor. So he we threw, threw the whole coconut in. <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking, yeah, how long do you have to boil a coconut <laughs> to tenderize it? <laughs> uh, I think you're gonna be there a while. <laughs> yeah. If ever. Yeah, nah, it's not very. Okay. Villagers <laughs> are lacking houses because of the cathedral, so let's stop the cathedral building just a little while. And let the villager and let the builders build up the houses so people won't be as... I know. I would be very, very angry if... Uh, the, ooh, look at that. It's, if people were focusing more on a cathedral than housing. I love how you have all your stuff, like, clumped together and mine's just all over the place. What do you mean, all, all over the place? Like, you know, I have, like, residential zone here and then I'll have my... You know, shops way far away from it. For some reason, I build over a huge area. Okay, uh, I don't. Uh, well, I mean, I think that's not as good as having it all lumped together. But um, I don't know why I do it. Because people wants to be in there close to. I mean, if their if their homes and the place they eat and the place to work is close to each other, that's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is this is a rather also the upkeep for if you spread out over many zones is just going to kill you. So you're on the snow for where's the blacksmith? I'm managing right now. Yeah, where is the blacksmith though? Hmm. He's over there. As for Tupper, <coughs> tell them pizza, you have four topping, one sauce, two cheese, then the other two topping, and it, and it, but if you put pineapple on the pizza, that's a sin. If you put pineapple on the pizza, uh, that's a sin in most places, so, yeah. But, I, I have to double check. I don't, yeah, there's the blacksmith. Okay, thank you. I mean, what about a ranch or veggie pizza? Oh, man. Because there's actually a, uh, like a pizza place here, and, well, not near me, but I've been to them before. I think it's about an hour away. Um, they specialize in, like, ranch pizzas, ranch dressing, which I love ranch dressing pizza. Okay, as, I think as long as it tastes good, then it's okay. For me, yeah. pineapple doesn't do it. I mean, you could have anchovies. Anchovies as a flavor enhancer can work very well. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's... It's a fish. No. <laughs> so... Not like... Fish sauce, that's a thing, you know? It's kind of fundamental for Thai cuisine, especially. It's like a season that's really... One sauce, I mean, one like, sauce and second sauce. Well, are we a little pizza traditionalist, Omang? <laughs> I mean, like, I'm a fisherman, you know. I love going out and just fishing all day, all oh, yeah. night. Oh, yeah. And I, I can I can catch the fish, I can gut the fish, clean the fish, cook the fish, but I won't eat the fish. Well, I'll, I'm partially the same, only I eat the fish. I just 
I'm not a super big fan of it, so that's kind of screwed up. But, no, no. <laughs> but fishing, I love fishing. Because either oh, it's so chill and calm and you can just be there and spend time with nature, or when you get to fish, it's kind of excitement and fun. Yeah, so. it's like I go, I go catfishing, you know, it's, it's not a fish that you could just throw your bait in and then immediately, you know, it's going like with little bluegill fish here. Um, like creek fish and stuff, you know, you drop a bait in a creek and or stream, a fish has got it and they're going, you know. And uh, what I fish, I fish about every weekend when it's warm, you know. Mm. And um, w when you're catfishing, you know, you can be sitting there all day and you may not get a single bite, oh, or yeah. it, it could be as soon as it hits the water, you know, they're gone, <laughs> they're yep. taking your bait. <laughs> Omon, how in the name of tarnation do you get the fish without cutting it open? I am sticking. You, you stick a water hose up its butt, <laughs> blow everything out the front. Is that how that works? <laughs> uh, it's, how, it's how we do snapping turtles here. Okay. Okay. Oh, look, it look, works. The turtle <laughs> is almost done. We just need two Pet. tools. And Too it bad. looks can't like it. what you can you can. There are different styles of church. Yep. Two different styles, but this is one I like the most. I don't know, I didn't see an option anywhere to change the color. Uh it's there. And this looks absolutely nothing like the large church I made, so that's very good. I try not to overlap to... Hi, Gargoyle! <laughs> You're just standing there, are you? Hi! Yep, you are. <laughs> okay, so... That was a misplacement. Uh, <laughs> a little pull. bit. Pull. He's guarding the trees. Yes, the, the, the three ants. Pull the guts from the gills. I'm having trouble unless you're fishing something truly humongous, that is, of course. Hmm. Oh, one tool and Claude, the ever diligent, is bringing those tools. So, on a scale from 1 to 10, does this look like a church at all? Yes! There, we have unlocked the monastery. I... Hmm... I don't know if I want to build a monastery right now. Or I want to, but I also want to spend some time with a good girlfriend who is a little sick. Okay, bell tower. I mean, you know the old saying, happy wife, happy life, right? Yeah, and then there's another saying, I will never get married, but that's... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but if I go I to can't really blame you there. pinch the set of gills and pull the guts and stuff out slowly, I if you go if you see here, uh, Drakets theme stone red blue. Wait, 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 wait. Ah. with the church. Okay. Mm. Let's see if that goes for the manor as well. Edit. No. Mine is still building, so. Yep. Okay. People are super happy. Only two villagers lacking housing. They have, but I have lots of housing area. Where's it for them? So, why are they complaining? I don't know. Okay. So, can we get a monastery here? Is there anywhere else we can have that monastery? No. I can have it here as well. Hmm. Okay, so I love the looks of this church. It's...
because it doesn't look like a church at all. It looks like some kind of bailiff office or just castle thing. In fact, it looks way more martial than the keep we have. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Pause. Let's go for the monastery. So we need... I think I need an abbey. Yep. Okay. Abbey A, Abbey B. Okay, before I do that, I need I need stone cut. I need another mason because hundred polished stones. That's going to take like forever, twice. Okay, stone mason's hut. Let's see, where do you want the stone mason? my compact ones. There. There. I can hear you breathing, rockets. No. Sorry. Well, okay. And so we have no way of getting... Collecting stuff. Okay, let's see here. I need... Lots as well. Do we have a warehouse there? No. We only have. No, go away. Do we have. We only have two warehouses. Crazy. It's going fantastic. Let's, see. Let's have a warehouse here, shall we? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, the sheeps, they are so fluffy. <laughs> they are amazingly fluffy. See here. Oh. Have you noticed the button when you try to spawn like too many sheep? Yep. No. Oh. It's like, come on. <laughs> yep. Seriously, stop. And the other is on. Seriously, stop as well. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Ah. Uh. Okay, so anyway, I was going to look into the monster because we need the herb garden, which is also a big construction. Oh lord. Yeah, and then the apiary, which isn't that big. So I think I want to have the monastery enclosed because that's what monasticism is all about. By the way, I'm not a fan of monasticism at all. But I guess you could have figured that out. Cloister Center. Storm Mason Sun. Okay, goody. Um, now we need some immigrants. Uh, so that's one. Storm Mason, yeah. You know what, maybe I'll make another one. Yeah. Yes. Because... That's actually, let's have you over in the fishing village here somewhere. Because... Uh, excess polished stone is something we can sell. Let's see. Polished stone, there. We need to go up to... Okay, have a good one, Omong. 250. There. Okay, there. So get those two people, two new masons. Yes. This church, though. 
doesn't look like a church, so that's one thing. And it's really awesome. I really desperately need uh, another gargoyle. Can I? There? What's that? Ah, <laughs> I got the gargoyle correct. Yes. And that's ten and one. Ten stone and one tool. Okay. Because we need the gargoyles looking out there, as well as this gargoyle. Don't know what that, uh, it's guarding us from something. Yeah, there's an ancient curse or something. Yeah, don't question it. Okay, there. Warehouse complete. Oh, we need more people to come here. Right, that's this warehouse. Yep. Unit glass and polished stone as well. No. Wine and honey and herbs. Yeah. Tuna villagers. Yes. Excellent. Uh, we need to get the other village. More villages. Can I? Yes, you can, about crazy. You can build bridges, but last I tried, they were very broken. So I had a nice colony uh, out on one of these islands. Um, or we had. Uh, which is really cool, but they couldn't get to them, so there were starvation and really, really bad mood. So, yeah, that's why I'm not building a single thing out on an island, no bridges. I would love to. This here, for instance, lots of stone, nice place, short little bridge. It would be awesome. Envoy from the king. Hi there. Nope. We don't have any soldiers. We don't have any soldiers. There. And there. Now we have tripled the amount of masons we have. But that's going to be it for now, I think. Yep. Uh, I will be back tonight. I am super happy with what we have done. Um, today it's yeah, just such a nice, good, relaxing game. I'm, I'm have uh, and the conversation we have, I love that. So yeah, but for now, thanks for watching. Keep on engineering, and I will see you the next time.